Ladies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Marquila Terrence. And for those of you who do know me, welcome back. So today I'll be showing you all how I slay my baby hairs and also how I was able to achieve this top knot bun. But before we jump right into the video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe this video. And be sure to turn on your post notifications, that way you can be notified when I drop my video. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. As you all see, my hair is freshly washed, deep conditioned, and blow dried. So all I'm doing right now is just combing all of my kinks out um, before we go ahead and get started. So if you are like me, the first thing I like to do anytime I do a bun hairstyle or a ponytail hairstyle is I like to comb out my baby hairs. I wanted to get extra jazzy with my baby hair, so I wanted to make sure that I combed out a generous amount. So right now what I'm doing is using my blue rat tail comb that I got from my local beauty supply store and I am just combing my baby hairs out. Now, if you really don't care for a lot of baby hairs, I wouldn't recommend you do this. I would just recommend you go ahead and slick your ponytail down and then just do your baby hairs at the ends. But if you are a fan of extra baby hairs and you like that really cute look, um, I would highly recommend that you do this step. So now that I have everything combed out, I am going to take my mini Baby Bliss flat irons and I'm just going to flat iron the edges. Now I'm really not a big fan of putting a whole lot of heat to my hair, um, but anytime I do slick my hair down and if I'm not putting a whole lot of product in my hair, I will slick my perimeter down. So that is all that I'm doing right now. I'm just going to take my flat irons and I'm just going to take piece by piece and flat iron that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and speed that up for you guys as well. Now that all of my edges is nicely flat iron, um, I'm just going to just comb everything up just to make sure that I have everything nice and straight. And I'm going to go ahead and place it back into a ponytail. And now I'm going to use my 24 hour edge tamer edge control to lay down the edges. So I'm just gonna take a generous amount and I'm just going to put it as close to my edges as possible. That way it can lay down super, super slick. Now, if your hair is a little bit thicker, because I mean, my hair is very much so thick, um, but if you have thicker hair, I would definitely recommend um, you part your hair and you put the edge control on your hair like that. So you wanna do it in sections. So I'm going to just continuously do this and I'm going to speed this up for you guys as well.
boom we are almost there as you see everything is nice and slick so now we are going to go ahead and move on to these edges okay so anytime I start off with my edges I am going to do the same thing that I did for the perimeter I'm going to use my mini baby bliss flat irons and I'm just going to flat iron my edges now if you have fine hair and you know you have like banging edges already you do not have to do this step but if you have thicker edges like myself or you know way more edges than myself I would highly recommend um, that you do this but you want to make sure that you put heat protector on your hair before you apply the heat and you don't want to do this too often but just make sure that everything is nice and straight so now that we have that finished I will be using the got to be glue um, to lay down my edges I'm actually going to be mixing that with the 24 hour edge tamer as well so right now I did go ahead and speed this up because I will be doing a more in-depth video for you guys on how I actually laid my edges. Um, but I, like I said, I will be using both the 24-hour edge tamer as well as the got to be glue gel to slick my edges down. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to let you all watch this part as well. Alrighty guys, now that I'm just about finished, I really did enjoy laying my baby hairs, although this was kind of hard for me, I actually had fun. Um, so now that everything is laid, I'll be using my Chi Holding Spray um, just to make sure that my edges stay in place and just to make sure everything just lays super flat. So now that we have that taken care of, I'm going to be using my perm strips. I'm gonna use about two or three perm strips and I'm just going to go ahead and lay my hair down. Um, that way I won't have any flyaways or I won't have any problems and or complications when I am putting my braiding hair in my hair to make my knot. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply those for you and let you continue watching. Alrighty, so we are just about finished. We're gonna go ahead and get into this braiding hair. So today I'll be using my three times Ghana pre-stretch braiding hair that I got from my local beauty supply store. And I will be using this as the base for my top knot. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take the hair out of the bag, of course, and you want to braid this braiding hair into your natural hair. This helps because for one, it's going to help with blending your hair into it's going to of course keep your knot intact so you don't want to braid it all the way down but you do want to make sure that you braid it just enough 
Um, that way, when you get to a good point where your hair is braided in, you want to go ahead and begin twisting. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop braiding and now I'm just going to twist. Um, so it doesn't really matter which way you twist. Um, you just want to make sure that, of course, it's not like too tight on your hair. And you want to also make sure that it falls the way how you want it to, right? Because usually with these top knots, they kind of just like twist up. Like as you see right now, as I'm like twisting it, it they kind of just twist all over the place. And if you don't like how the, how the bun is looking, you can always just adjust it and put um, bobby pins in it, which is something that I'm actually going to do. But for now, I'm just going to keep twisting. And if you don't like how thick um, your bun is when you first do it, just go ahead and take out um, some braiding hair. Or if you're the type of person that likes a thicker bun, just go ahead and add in some more hair. So now I'm just going to finish wrapping that end piece. And now I'm going to use a little bit more braiding hair because I did want my bun to be a little bit bigger. So for those of you who want a little bit more definition and you want your bun a little bigger, just go ahead and follow this step here as well. So I am going to go ahead and speed this up, but you see how my hair is coming along. It actually looks really cute. I really love these hairstyles, especially like when you go into a wedding or, you know, any like special occasion event and you really don't feel like doing your hair or your hairstylist is out of town. This is a good go to and it's super quick and easy so as you all see my bun is coming together but i had to play around with it because i wasn't really feeling it it was it was weird and i didn't want my bun to be like super huge um so as you all see i'm just gonna put some bobby pins in my hair that way it can stay intact and essentially this is what my hair looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and let you all continue washing so that you guys can see the finished product Alrighty guys, so we are just about finished. I am just removing my perm strips and essentially this is what my hair looks like. Now, one thing I did forget, I did forget to put alcohol on my hair to remove my excess of got to be glue spray, but this is what my hair looks like. I really like this. I feel like this came out way better than what I had expected. My hair is cute. My edges are laid and I actually love this hairstyle. So make sure if you guys didn't already, like, comment, share, and subscribe this video. I love you. Thank you for your support and I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye.